The Galaxy S25 series might just bring a life-saving feature that could make it a must-have for safety-conscious users. Let's dive into the details of this groundbreaking addition. A potentially life-saving sensor. Samsung's Galaxy S25 series is rumored to include a car crash detection sensor, a feature designed to assist users during accidents or crashes. While this functionality has been a part of Google Pixel phones, it has yet to make its way into other premium Android devices. Leaked information accessed by Android Authority confirms the presence of this sensor in the Galaxy S25 series. Although Samsung has included similar sensors in previous models, such as the Galaxy S24 Ultra, Galaxy Z Fold 5, and likely the upcoming Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6, the feature has remained non-functional, awaiting software refinements. Samsung's car crash detection wake-up sensor is a virtual composite sensor that combines data from various physical sensors. Previous One UI updates, such as 5.11, contain traces of code labeled Mocha Mobile, related to starting and stopping the car crash sensor, hinting at its potential functionality. Will it finally be activated? There's optimism that Samsung could activate this feature with the One UI 7.1 update, offering users an added layer of safety. If implemented, the sensor would alert family members or emergency services in the event of an accident, potentially saving lives. While Google's Pixel phones already include car crash detection, Samsung's entry into this space could mark a significant leap for Android users. We'll have to wait for the official launch to confirm whether this feature becomes fully operational. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be a game changer, bringing exciting enhancements to display technology and durability. Stay tuned as we dive into two major updates about Samsung's upcoming flagship. Let's start with the display. Samsung is set to redefine smartphone displays with the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Recent leaks suggest that the device's screen could achieve an astonishing peak brightness of 3,000 nits, surpassing the Galaxy S24 Ultra's already impressive 2,600 nits. While early rumors indicated no significant OLED advancements, Samsung has instead refined its existing display technology by incorporating additional features. Now let's talk about the next level durability. Samsung also aims to elevate durability standards with the Galaxy S25 Ultra. According to renowned Tipser Ice Universe, the phone will debut the second-generation Gorilla Glass Armor. This advanced glass is designed to protect the display while retaining its anti-reflective capabilities. Although specific details about the improvements in shatter and scratch resistance remain unknown, the new Gorilla Glass Armor is anticipated to outperform the version used in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. One common complaint from users regarding the S24 Ultra's panel was the gradual wear-off of its oleophobic coating. Hopefully, the next-gen Gorilla Glass will address such concerns, ensuring a longer-lasting and more durable display. With these incredible updates, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be one of the most exciting releases of the year. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. The Galaxy S25 Ultra will feature a 6.9-inch, 6.86-inch, Panel with a resolution of 3120x1440, maintaining the sharpness of its predecessor while delivering a more vivid and vibrant experience. This M13 Plus panel promises excellent color reproduction alongside its brightness boost. The phone's taller and narrower design along with softened corners is expected to enhance both its elegance and usability. It's finally here. With the Samsung Galaxy S25 series just around the corner, most leaks have confirmed what to expect. Now, a full spec sheet for the Galaxy S25 Ultra has leaked, and it looks like previous reports were spot on. The well-known leaker Yojish has shared the complete specs, and here's what the Galaxy S25 Ultra will bring when it launches early next year. Galaxy S25 Ultra Specifications Display a 6.8-inch QHD LTPO and mold screen with a smooth 120Hz refresh rate Processor. Powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, the best Qualcomm has to offer. Memory. Up to 16 gigs of RAM. Storage. Options up to 1 TB. Cameras. Quad camera setup 200 megapixel main, 50 megapixel ultra wide, upgraded, 50 megapixel telephoto, and 10 megapixel periscope. The front camera is 12 megapixels. Battery. A 5000 mAh battery with 45 watt fast charging. Software. Runs Android 15 with Samsung's new One UI 7. Impressive. But what's new? The specs are undoubtedly powerful, but they don't bring many changes compared to the S24 Ultra. Both phones share the same display, battery size, charging speed, and even similar cameras, aside from the improved 50-megapixel ultrawide sensor on the S25 Ultra. One UI 7 will also be available for the S24 Ultra, so software isn't exclusive either. 
The main differences are the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a shift back to rounded edges for those who found the sharp corners on the S24 Ultra uncomfortable. The extra RAM is likely to support the revamped Galaxy i, which introduces a smarter LLM-powered Bixby Assistant aiming to compete with Apple's AI-powered features on the iPhone 16. Should you upgrade? If you already own the S24 Ultra, the upgrades might not feel worth it unless you really want the new processor, extra RAM, or rounded design. For those with older devices, the S25 Ultra is still a solid choice, but it's not a huge leap forward. Price concerns? In short, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is a powerhouse, but for many, the differences might feel too small to justify upgrading. Official details are here and Samsung's next big thing is about to hit. Samsung is entering a critical phase as it prepares for the unveiling of the Galaxy S25 series. A new report suggests that the release date for the Galaxy S25 series has been set for February 7, 2025, following its official launch on January 22, 2025. According to FFN News, Samsung has confirmed that the Galaxy S25 series will be released on February 7, 2025. The devices will be revealed at the Galaxy Unpacked event on January 22 in the United States. The report also mentions that pre-orders for the Galaxy S25 series will run from January 24 to February 3, with early access for pre-order customers beginning on February 4. Samsung is expected to officially launch the Galaxy S25 lineup in South Korea on February 7. This marks a slight delay in availability compared to the Galaxy S24 series, which had an earlier release. Here's what we can expect. The Galaxy S25 series will be unveiled at the Galaxy Unpacked event in San Jose, USA on January 22, 2025. Pre-orders will be open from January 24 to February 3. Customers who pre-order will get early access starting February 4. The full release of the Galaxy S25 series in Korea is scheduled for February 7, 2025. With the Galaxy S25 series, Samsung aims to strengthen its position in the premium smartphone market. The new devices will feature enhanced AI capabilities, refined designs, and upgraded specifications. Price hike in Korea? Due to the ongoing political instability in Korea, the $1 exchange rate has risen above 1,451, which could lead to a price increase for the S25 series in Samsung's home country. Additionally, the cancellation of the Exynos 2500 chipset is expected to impact Samsung's profits as all models will likely be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is manufactured using TSMC's expensive 3 in process node. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribing to the channel would be greatly appreciated. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.